And we're going to interview the chief. He's retiring. Can I have your mocha? Oh, thank you yeah. so much. It's here. Did you always get the same thing? <laughs> they were already on it. They know your order. He's been stability in the force since 1989, and there's been feedback from different communities that he has been a unifier. I think what makes this interview so personal to me is that it's outside of an office, it's in a black owned business, it's in a community center, and this city needs unity so bad. The state needs unity. And I just want to listen to him. This goes deep, your passion to unify. Where does that come from? It came from great parents who, who uh, taught me at a very young age how important respect was and that has uh, resonated through my whole life. It was just powerful, I mean, to see his eyes tear up, someone that, you know, who's seen it all. This felt like an interview where he spoke from his heart and I hope that people will get to really see a new side of what it's like to be inside the head of a police chief in these very troubled times.